my name is Mr. Danby. And I will be asking him some questions. Okay, so the first one is, what made you pick teaching as your job and what would, was there a person who influenced you? Uh, well, I wasn't always a teacher. I, I worked in marketing and customer service and social media. And what made me switch is I just wanted to be around people who I could form like relationships with and really see an impact. Sometimes when you're out in the real working world, um, you don't really see the impact that you're making on other people. And my biggest influence was probably my parents. Both of my parents are teachers, so they okay. kind of recommended that I look into that. Okay, so if you could tell yourself, your younger self anything, what would you say and when would you say it? That's a really good question. I don't have a lot of regrets, like from when I was younger, I feel like I did a good job of kind of like living it up, you know, and kind of making the most of every day. I guess my advice would be just to kind of stop and smell the roses a little bit, especially in college. I got so um, focused on, you know, maintaining a certain grade point average. Um, and so maybe stop and smell the roses would be my advice for my college self. Okay. So, and why did you pick teaching BYL out of all classes? So we didn't have this class, BYL. Uh, Miss Springer, who was our principal a couple principals ago, she wanted to create a leadership class, a character building class, and she asked me if I would teach it. And mm -hmm. so I said yes. Okay, so what's your main goal as a teacher that you have? It's another good question. Very simply, I just wanna go home at the end of the day and when I lay my head down on the pillow, I just wanna feel proud of the job I did. I Okay, what is your dream job as a kid or did you always want to be a teacher? Mm -hmm. I didn't always want to be a teacher. My dream job probably would have been to be a comedian, to be okay. like a stand-up comedian or to be like Jim Carrey was my hero. So I wanted to be like Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura. I wanted to be a comedian. Mm -hmm. um, and so I did that for a little bit, like in high school and college, and I did little comedy things and stuff. And it was fun, but uh, needed to make yeah. some real money. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what made you pick working at East like, and not like North or somewhere else? Well, the biggest reason is that this is where I went to school, and so I knew the school, and I knew, again, Miss Springer, who was our principal a couple principals back, she was the principal here, mm -hmm. and she had been my principal when I was at CHS. Oh, okay. And so I knew her, so when I got into teaching, I just sent her an email, um, and I said, hey, I'm thinking about becoming a teacher, can I come up to CMS East and just shadow? Um, and so I actually shadowed Coach Smith, one of our social studies mm -hmm. teachers uh, from last year. And so I just followed him around all day and uh, really liked what I saw. And then I got certified and I got hired. Okay. So what do you feel like is your biggest strength as a teacher? Um, I, I have learned a lot of patience in my life. Um, one job that I had for a couple years was working in customer service. And so I had to answer the phone all day and people were angry and people were yelling and through that job, I learned how to stay very calm and patient. So a little bit of humor, a little bit of energy and a lot of patience. Those are kind of my strengths. In BYL, what is your favorite habitude that we have gone over? It fluctuates. Like some days I really need pop quiz and other days I really need thermostat and thermometer. Of all the ones that we've gone over, I think I would have to say pop quiz is my is my go-to because like as a parent stuff like my kid got sick over the weekend this past weekend and it's a bummer right but like basically when that happens you have two choices and that is like to get angry about something you can't control or to just kind of suck it up and deal with it and so that's the quiz right yeah. is how do you respond as the counselor what is your thoughts of building young leaders um, I would recommend building young leaders to anybody in the school. Everybody, I think everybody, no matter how much they think they're a leader or not a leader, would benefit from this class. It's um, a great way. It's an extension from what elementary schools do as far as char character lessons go, but it expands on them. Um, it, it's a fun way of, of watching videos and learning about it and interacting with others. Um, it's a very active class. I think um, I've never had any one complain about it being boring. Do you think building young leaders is a good class for you and do you think it's making an impact on you? It's a great class for me because it's more of a relaxed class. I don't, it's, I have to worry a lot about my core classes, but BYL is, is more of a calmer, more unstressful class.